Hi, it's Lana Seacrest here from, sorry, I was just checking to make sure it was actually on, um, from Cottage of Grace, and I wanted to add something to today's video selection. Um, it's Labor Day weekend for everyone here in um, America, and they give you the day off from work so that you can have a time just to rest. Um, and most people enjoy that time just hanging out with their family and, you know, catching up on naps and, I don't know, doing whatever it is people want to do uh, for their Labor Day, you know. We're just chilling and relaxing today. But um, I thought I'd add something a little bit extra to the video series uh, for today, and I'm going to do this. Uh, from time to time, and if I keep looking out my window, I'm really sorry I get distracted. <laughs> um, anyway, it's from this really cool book. Um, it's a devotional book called Jesus is Calling, or Jesus Calling, Enjoying His Presence. And um, the devotion says, Come to me and rest. I am all about you to bless and to restore. Breathe me in with each breath. The way just ahead of you is very steep. Slow down and cling tightly to my hand. I am teaching you a difficult lesson learned only by hardship. Lift up empty hands of faith to receive my precious presence. Light, life, joy, and peace flow freely through this gift. And that gift is Jesus. Just being able to reach out and touch him and know that he's right there to, to help you through with whatever's going on or just simply give you rest, um, which is what Labor Day is about. Um, when you focus, when your focus turns away from me, meaning Jesus, you grasp for other things. You drop the glowing gift of my presence as you reach for the lifeless ashes. Return to me and regain my presence. And I thought that was kind of appropriate for Labor Day weekend um, as we're all resting and taking off the burdens of everyday Monday through Friday life and getting an extra day off for the week next week to where you don't have to work so that you can continue with your rest and just enjoying family and friends and being outside even if it is 100 degrees. Um, some scriptures that go with that are from Matthew 11, 28-29. It says, Come to me, meaning Jesus, all who labor and are heavy laden and end overburdened, and I will cause you to rest. I will ease and relieve and refresh your souls. And how nice is that to know that all we have to do is just even say, just Jesus. And just know that right there is enough to make the heavenly realms just go, you know, right into action for you. And if you go to him with whatever it is that's causing you to feel heavy laden or labored, even if it is work, um... Work is labor intensive, or if you're just going through a personal issue due to sickness or, you know, friendship problems or relationship problems in your marriage, um, he will give you ease, relief, and refresh your soul. And it also says to take up my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and meek and humble and lowly in heart, and you will find rest, relief and ease and refreshment, recreation and blessed quiet for your souls. And most people think of Jesus as this God sitting up there who just wants to just pound on you because you just didn't do something the right way today. You know, when all along he's, he's a God who, you know, he's part of God um, who just wants to just take everything that is just weighing you so down and just let it go. All I have to do is just approach him. And sometimes if all you can even just get out of your mouth is the very word Jesus, 
from there, the Holy Spirit knows exactly what's in your heart, what's exactly in your mind, takes it up to the throne room of God, and Jesus intercedes on our behalf, and everything goes into action. And I, I think that is wonderful. Um, that, you know, God knows me that well enough to know exactly what I need inside my heart before I even speak the very words. Um, another scripture is from 1 Timothy 2.8. And it says, I desire, therefore, that in every place man should pray without anger or quarreling or resentment or doubt in their minds. Lift up your holy hands. And how many times do we feel when we're so labored, you know, overly burdened, and um, life just becomes hard due to whatever the circumstance, especially if you're just, you're just plain physically tired. You know, you get gritchy, and you're like, meh, 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 and um, we forget for the very simplest thing to do is just, you know, pray to Jesus, just, you know, Jesus. You know, help me. You know, sometimes I get so desperate that I'll go, God, throw me a bone here. And suddenly it's like the water's part. Um, <clears throat> another translation, because I just read from the Amplified Bible. Another translation for 1 Timothy 2.8 um, is in every place of worship. And any place of worship can be your home. Um, which is kind of what Cottage Grace is about, showing you how to bring God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit directly into your home every day, no matter what. And it can be your church. You can go sit outside on your porch like I do sometimes, or, you know, <clears throat> I'll throw a blanket out in the middle of the grass and just look up at the stars and the moon or the sun, and that's a place for that I worship. And... So, uh, for in every place of worship, I want men and women to pray with holy hands lifted up to God, free from anger and controversy. And how many controversies do we as human beings carry in our life? Some things that we probably shouldn't even begin to pick up in the first place. But there's always something going on that is ready to rob you of your rest and your joy and just the ability to let Jesus Christ handle it because that's what it's all about you know that's what Jesus is he just he's ready for you to just say here's my backpack full of garbage God you carry it <laughs> and he does and when he does it's just like you feel so much more lighter and your body and your spirit can begin to rest. And when your spirit can rest, that's when you truly, truly find the relaxation and the rest that your body and your soul and your heart, your mind begins to deeply need. And anyway, I just wanted to share this for you and with you today on Saturday, the three part of the three-day Labor Day weekend. And uh, I hope you get something out of it as much as I got out of it. And again, I wish you lots of blessings and bye-bye for now.